Welcome back to Phasmophobia. Continuing with my zero evidence runs. This is just a zero evidence run, not a zero evidence, zero sanity run. So it's a seven times multiplier instead of an 8.6, I think. So continuing with Edgefield. Okay, power's in the garage. Uh, <laughs> EMF reader, motion sensor, and cleanse. Uh, so we'll get the power turned on so I can preserve my sanity, get some lights on. And I brought in a thermo and an EMF just to help me find the ghost room. Whoops. Is my height? Yeah, my height's good. I thought I was a little taller than usual. Looking for the bone and the cursed object now. Um, okay. I have no idea. Maybe it did it teleport to me? Is there a wraith? I was trying to move closer to it and it got to 1.2 and it started going up again as I walked forward, so how the EMF was working wasn't making a lot of sense. Tarot cards again. I keep getting tarot cards. Why can't I get a cursed object that lets me control my sanity the way I want? Okay, I just heard. What? No. I just heard it throw something. Why is it suddenly gone? Uh. Okay. Okay, so it's not an Oni. I'm hearing doors that sound like they're up here. So I guess it's in here? I guess? 16... Eight. I thought this was the same room as this room. They should be the same temperature. All right, so now that I know finally where the ghost is, you know what? Um, I believe we are dealing with a wraith, because if its room is upstairs and it appeared in the kitchen, uh, that means it teleported to me. So let's lay some salt down and prove this. Of course, it could be a mimic imitating a wraith too, so let's check that too. And if it is going to be a wraith, that means I'm going to have a hard time getting photos.
just all over this room, isn't it? Okay, let's put up some motion sensors and prove that it's walking through salt without stepping in it. Just hit some doors, so, I mean, if it touched doors, then it certainly would have stepped through them. Certainly looks like a wraith to me. Just stand here for a minute and watch it step through these without touching. Yeah, yeah, this is absolutely a, a wraith. Okay, well, it makes that easy. All right, so we got a wraith, and I've got the bone. Now what? I need objectives. Cleanse with a smudge. Um, okay, the only way I'm going to get ten photos out of this thing is uh, with candles. So maybe I can do that. No. they fix that someday. They're going to be adjusting all of the equipment. Um, let's turn on the light. They're going to be adjusting the equipment. The tier 1 thermometer is going to be made a little bit less accurate. The tier 2 and 3, uh, you can continue to, you'll be able to continue to hold the um, trigger and get constant updates, which will be great. Let's see if I can get a perfect out of this. get the tenth picture downstairs on the tarot cards. Someone touched a door, I'll take that too. Of course if you want to leave the room and make a different room your primary, I'll just leave and go up. Blew all those out at once. Do it again. Four photos. Just need five more. How did it get to there? Well, maybe it teleported again. photos do we need? Two more. Just give me one more candle blowout and I'll go. There we go. Thank you. Let's uh, go get the tarot cards and I'll be done with photos. And let's smudge and then we can get out of here. Oh. 
should certainly be good enough. What the heck was going on with this? Huh. Wow, the walls disappearing, items are disappearing, everything. <laughs> Whatever, I won't complain. Okay, so all objectives, all photos. Got the bone, I know it's a wraith. We're out of here. And I knew it was a wraith, first of all, because it gave me an EMF2 downstairs in the uh, kitchen. And I discovered that its main room was upstairs, so it had to teleport down in order to... In order to give me that uh, EMF2. And then it walked through, walked across the salt so many times without even leaving a footprint. So that's a wraith. Um, I am level 55. I don't think that unlocks anything yet. What is next, by the way? 63. 60. 64. 61. I don't even know what's next. That's right. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Let's go on to Ridgeview. If this is another fast one, I'll continue on to Grafton. But if it's a harder ghost like a Yure or a Gorio, that's going to stink. Ghost event, Firelight, Low Sanity. Where's the power? Power is not in the garage, it's downstairs. There's that weird smudge of light again. is? Hmm. Maybe I would like to take a photo. What the heck? Ten. Ten. I don't know where I was hearing those sounds from. Before I go too far, I'll bring in a couple candles just to get ready for the Onrio test. Once I know where the ghost is, I'll, I'll do my quick tests. ghost rattling around somewhere. Just don't know where. Twelve here. Thirteen. And in here? Where's that? Is that an upstairs sound? First object is right.
Your hallway ghost? No? You're in here. Jeez, I ran into the door. Let's lay down a bunch of salt. Let me stupid it and pile it all in one place. All nine pictures. <clears throat> what are the objectives? Ghost event, low sanity, firelight. Could that be a poltergeist throw? I'm gonna go out to the truck real quick. Because I heard a throw, but it sounded like a few thumps. And if, if there's a high spike here, it's very likely that was from a poltergeist. No. Um, it's clearly not a wraith. I think I'll leave this here for now. One should be enough. So what do, what do you want to show me? You want to give me an unreal? Nope, not an unreal. This is a very active ghost. That almost makes me suspect that it could be a fae. I'll hold on to my smudge for the time being. I'm still looking for the cursed object. Mm. 
music box? Nope. Apparently there's a devastating loss of life. Well, I don't know what the cursed object is. Oh, tarot cards again. Come on, man. <clears throat> okay. Well, I mean, the simple fact is... Jeez, I don't want to... Do I want to spend all that time waiting for my sanity to drop? Because here's a dark room. How long will it take for my sanity to drop all the way down to 25% from 80%? I don't think that that light is preventing my sanity drain while I'm in here. So I'll just hang out for a bit. Sanity ghost event. It's not an Oni. Is that right? Wait a minute. No, I think that was in the last house. It's not a wraith. That's all I know so far. I should probably check for orbs. Already down to seventy two. <laughs> no orbs. I'd like to get my sanity down to 55 and then just sort of wait. See if it's my hunter. Can't be a mare turned on a light. <sighs> I 
tried the Unreal thing already, right? longer and then I'll go out and check my sanity. What's going on here? Is that there's something wrong with the bump map? Hmm. I'm throwing a lot of stuff. Oh crap, I'm a little lower than I want to be. But, I can rush in and uh... Actually I can just step into here. Why does this have a shadow pattern around it? That one doesn't. Little things I notice. Doesn't seem like this is a high hunter. So, I think what I would do is grab the crucifix and run. You may hunt now. Jeez, I think it detected me while I was on the stairs. Sixty. Eighty. 
90. Can hunt any time. One ten. It's not a spirit. Now I'm going to see if I can visually inspect it to be anything else. Didn't look like anything that would be recognizable. Not an Oni, not a Phantom, not a Jin. Didn't seem like a Miling either. Not a Fey. Not a Hantu. Not a Revenant. Not a spirit. Doubt it's a demon. It didn't never even try to hunt. Um. I mean, it's possible that it's a raiju. I doubt it. But we can eliminate that. It's not a mimic. It's not walking like the twins. curious about what those drops are. Because the dance can't do... It can't do a ghost event when I'm outside of the house. And in EMA 4, which suggests that it moved two objects at the same time, we still could be dealing with the poltergeist. Let's um, put an EMF at the bottom of the steps, Let's see if it speeds up, just to make sure it doesn't ride you. Seems very tossy. Is there any way to be sure, though? Jesus! Ghost event! Stairs with me. What the hell was it doing on top of me? Is a stalker ghost and I didn't even realize it? Time to load up on some sanity and do a banshee test. 
What was it doing on top of me? Good Lord. If I wouldn't have smudged it, I would have died. Uh, maybe I should have waited longer so I could get the 25% objective. But, um... I'm going to go upstairs and see if it wanders to me, I guess. Was it on top of me? It literally started its hunt right on top of me. Didn't blink like a phantom. It's not walking to me like a banshee. Why did it wander right into my spot? Highly, highly doubt that this is a banshee. So the fact that it started right on top of me, probably just a um, just a coincidence. And my sanity was at 35. It wasn't any faster, so it's not a moroi. What in the world? I'm guessing you're still in here. So, uh... Well, I can only carry two items at once. So there's no point in opening up my belt. I need a bedroom with a lot of shoes. Huh? There's two. I'm not going to try to reach for that. Oops. Mm. Apparently it was on here at some point. Huh. Anything else I can give it to toss? Why was that ghost right on top of me?
starting to suspect it's a Gorio because this thing hasn't moved. Yeah, it's still in here. I think I, uh, for this difficulty, I have the room changing set to medium. Definitely still in here. Don't you want to close the door on me? Maybe you're not a Yuri? One giveaway of a Yure is if a door, I guess, makes the close sound when you're in a room that's adjacent. I could be in this room, or I could be in this hallway. And if it closes that door, it'll hit my sanity for 50%. Greetings. Still high. If I want to get low sanity, I'll probably have to make use of the tarot deck. Um, I don't know. I usually don't like to watch a ghost long enough to um, watch it change shape because that means the ghost has to see me for that long, and looping for that long is just too hard for me. Last smudge, huh? Wait. Let me think. And that just put me at 100% sanity, so that's fun. Traps the ghost in its room. That's a hunt. Hunt's going to be a little longer than usual because it was a cursed hunt. Now all the hunts from now on will be cursed. 75% sanity. And 100%... Nope! That's a joker. Or a fool. It's not a real one. That's supposed to force the ghost to interact, but it doesn't work right now. Come on. This is stupid. 100% sanity again. Hi! Let me check something real quick. I was at 100% sanity, I just got touched with a ghost again.
would exactly drop me 10%. Certainly not an Oni. Oni would have dropped me 20%. until I hear the motion sensors so that it wanders back to its room. I guess it is back to its room already. Another joker and this is probably the last card. So that dropped me to 60% or so. I really have no idea what this ghost is. Probably not a poltergeist. This pile is still here. It's still in there, it's not moving. I'm tempted to say Gorio. There is one final test that I could do. It'll require me being in the dark again. And provoking a hunt and I want to see if the ghost if the ghost is not a yokai it'll come straight into the kitchen if I'm standing right here And if it's not a yokai, I'm going to guess Gorio. Obake is the one that's pretty much my bane. I never want to see a ghost enough as an Obake to see a shape change, because that means it's going to speed up, and I just can't loop a ghost that much in VR. This is what happens if I try to loop a ghost. Here I am looping it, looping it, looping it. I can't keep up with the turns. It's too hard to control. It's too dizzying, too. I could physically turn in my place, but then I would just tie myself up in the wire. Check my sanity real quick. Oh, okay. I'm in hunting range. Cool. So right about here. Generally, the ghost likes to turn around and explore that part of the house instead of coming into the kitchen. So if it comes straight into the kitchen, I'm going to say that it is not a yokai. I want to know why it wandered right into my hiding spot. Um, it's walking around in the hallway. off the power. So I'll keep my flashlight on and if that provokes it into the kitchen 
It is not a yoke run. So I'm going to give myself a few seconds to uh, see if it's still in that room. I think it's still in that room. I'm going to stick around a little longer just to get the sanity objective. Yeah. One more hunt should do it. I just hear throw a bunch of stuff. No, a lot of interactions. But I don't call that poltergeist throw. Alright, uh Okay, well I don't have any basis to call it an obake, so I'm gonna say Gorio because I never changed rooms. If it changed rooms, I'd call it an obake. A poltergeist throw would have been a single large spike of a lot of items being thrown all at once. Gorio, look at that. It was a reasonable guess. I, I mean, but it was it was only going to be a guess because I couldn't prove that it was not an obake, and it took me forty minutes. Okay, so yeah, sometimes the zero evidence takes a while. Let's, uh, even though I'll never, ever, ever use this, let's unlock it. The, uh, uh, an upcoming update is going to switch these two. This is going to be the tier one, this is going to be the tier two, because everyone thinks this is a lot more useful. Anyway, so interesting changes are coming. Level 56. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Why did the Gorio appear right on top of me in my hiding spot? I don't know.